when the F-35B and other military drones were banned for export to Turkey because of the fact that the Russian S-400 missile was introduced as its primary air defense system. The Turkish engineers decided to capitalize on this ban and bet on creating their own drones. The result is the TB-2 as well as the upgraded version of the TB-3. This will provide Turkey's lighting TCG on a Dolu amphibious assault ship with operational offensive air power. The drone will be launched from an amphibious assault ship of the Turkish Navy that can be configured as a stovel or short takeoff and vertical landing aircraft carrier. We will also discuss the basic step-by-step -step process of how this could be launched as well as its weapon system and how it operates. So please stay tuned till the end. For now, let us look at the basic differences between the TB-3 and TB-2. The TB-3 is reportedly using the new PB-222ST, while many of the TB-2 uses the Rotax engine, which was discontinued because of the ban for military export. Also keeping in mind, the TB-3 can switch to the high-altitude PD-170 engine depending on the type of land or sea base takeoff. This engine generates a maximum speed of around 300 km per hour, while the cruising speed is around 232 km per hour. Bayraktar TB-3 has a wingspan of 14 meters and 2.6 meter high, while the TB-2 has a wingspan of around 12 meters. The TB-3 has been engineered with folding wings for aircraft storage and landing deck, while the TB-2 wings are fixed, which were meant for only land-based operations. Let us look at the weight differences. The TB-3 has a takeoff weight of 1450 kilograms, while the TB-2 weighs around 850 kilograms. But first we have to be honest with you, the TCG Dolu aircraft carrier is still under development, so take these information as a grain of salt. Let us see how this works. Step number one, the TB-3 can be elevated to its flight deck from two platforms. This is the first platform where the first He-3 could be launched. Let's move to the rear of the ships. This is the re-engineered elevator deck where the second TB-3 attack drone could be brought from below the hangar. This enables the TCG Anadolu to work with 30 to 50 Bayraktar TB-3 depending on the configuration. The two elevator platform enables the aircraft carrier to launch drones every five to 10 minutes. Step number two, the drone positions itself from this point of the aircraft carrier to set up itself for launch for ski jump technique. This strategy requires less energy as well as maintenance, which is perfect for a drone as light as this one. Step number three, it could be controlled by the Sacramentina. The upgraded Bayraktar TB3 can be operated from very remote distances thanks to its line of sight and beyond line of sight communications capabilities, which is controlled through one of these two towers from the aircraft carriers. Step number four, let us look at its weapon system. It can carry four GPS or laser guided bomb. This is the MAM-L laser guided bomb with a range of 15 kilometer. This missile is used for main battle tanks and heavily armored vehicles. They have no active motor to propel it, which gives them more room for the warhead as they rely only on GPS, as well as laser guided by the TB-3 UAV. This is the Rocket Sam Mam c lightweight smart micro munition, provides high strike precision against static and mobile targets, mainly armor and light armored vehicle. It has a range of around eight kilometer. For moving targets, laser guided bombs are preferably used. Now let us look at how this works. As explained, this is a semi-active laser inertial mid-course navigation system. The TB-3 laser points a target, and then the MAM-L is dropped and follows the path of the laser using the laser seeker. The MAM-L switches from laser to inertial mid-course navigation system if the weather is bad, but it has its own disadvantage as it cannot be deployed against moving target, but works best against giants, bunkers, and command post. Let us see what is inside these covers. This is the power distribution system of the TB-3 that supplies power to all other avionics and checks their status controls, alternators, and batteries as well. Now, these are the mission control multiple communication that is responsible for the connected avionics and ensure payload operation. This is the brain of the TB-3 flight control system, which is the most crucial component of an unmanned aerial vehicle platform. 
For land-based operation, we have made a step-by-step -step video of how it works with the TB2 drone. Its operation are almost similar to the TB3, so check that out. For more videos, support us by smashing the like and subscribe button to help us produce more contents like these.